USC Aiken and Francis Marion. Let's go to the Convocation Center. USC Aiken late, down by two, 10 seconds left. Who do you give the ball to? It's got to be Raymond Nelson. Raymond going to the hole, goes up and in for two. It's tied, and that will force overtime at the Convocation Center. Francis Marion's Everett Gary had 19 points. Here's two of them. Ooh, nice pull-up jumper there. Gives a five-point lead for the Patriots. A USC Aiken can play a little defense, too. Watch this. Chase Holmes come up with the steal, and he's going to go on the fast break and take it himself all the way in for two, and that brings the Pacers two within one. All right, here we go. End of overtime. Pacers up by one. Francis Marion has the ball. Going to inbound it, and they're going to take it all the way down the court. Pass it around a little bit. Now, look, Marcel Williams gets the ball. He doesn't make the shot, but he does get fouled. He'll go to the free throw line, down by one with two shots, a chance to win it. Williams hits the first one. Now the second one on the way. It is no good. He misses. Chase Holmes with a rebound. Nelson gets it. Nelson from half court to win it. No, and we are going to double overtime. Second overtime, well, that was all USC Aiken. Watch this shot. Sterling Council, it rattles around the rim and finally falls. That gives the Pacers a two-point lead. Now the post play was big for the Pacers. Watch Joel Giobellini come up with a big block. Yeah, get that out of there. That preserves a six-point lead for USC Aiken. Well, down the stretch, free throws are big, and USC Aiken came through. Here's Jesse Seilern. He hit both of his. Pacers hit eight of their last ten free throws, and that put the game out of reach as one last uh, desperation heave for Francis Marion comes up short. Pacers win this one big in double overtime. Final score from the USC Convocation Center, 105-98.